Hi guys, thanks for tuning into our stream this week on the last day before we go to Thanksgiving break. And I know I say this every week, but we really do have an awesome show for you guys today. Let's get right into it with a recap of the Livingston Jazz Festival, where our Lone Peak High School Jazz Ensemble, directed and drummed by Mr. Sullivan, showed us their musical wizardry. Well, you know where they take the bad wizards that play out of tune though, right? No. Where? Jazz Caban. Get it? Because Harry Potter, like, Jazz Caban. That was actually pretty good. All right. Let's slither in over to the footage. <laughs> Thanks to Abby Meredith for editing that footage, and that looks like a lot of fun. You know what looked especially strong while they were playing in Livingston? What? The wind section. <laughs> well, you get it or you don't, but that might have been my greatest joke ever on this show. All right, let's head on over to the LPHS Student Council Veterans Day Assembly, where veterans from around the community and even Lieutenant Gover uh, Governor Mike Cooney participated in the post-fire alarm festivities. Isn't it cool how we can get the Lieutenant Governor to come to our school? I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, again from Abby, let's check out the segment. It's really an honor to be in attendance today with our veterans from our community and beyond. Great. Thanks to everyone who made that, who helped make that excellent assembly possible. And now it's time for our new show, Are You Smarter Than Google? Because that's where I'm getting these trivia questions. Um, also, we're going to work on that name. That was not your greatest moment. That's true. Okay, today's category is dun, da, 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 Thanksgiving. Duh. Here's how this works. I ask three trivia questions, you guys think about them, and then you learn something new at the end of the show. <clears throat> Number one. Which state in the United States raises the most Thanksgiving turkeys? Okay, number two, who was the first president to presidentially pardon a turkey? And number three, with what character does the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade conclude? 
Make sure to stay tuned for the end of the show for the answers, and we will let and we will know if you cheat because Mr. Blessing knows everything about your computers, and we're filming in his room, so don't be late. Next up, let's check in with the middle school and learn about video games. What's your favorite video game, Riley? Flappy Bird. All right, let's go. What's your favorite video game? Fortnite. <laughs> Just Dance. <laughs> Just Dance. Pokemon. Actually, like Just Dance. Yeah. Just Dance. Halo. Minecraft! Oh, uh, Diamond Pickaxe. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Minecraft. <laughs> I feel like. I have to go with Minecraft as well. Madden 20. Nice. Least favorite video game? Ooh, all of Fortnite. Them Fortnite. All Fortnite. of them besides Pokemon. just that. Fortnite. 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 <laughs> It like comes down and you like try it. Tetris? Tetris. Favorite yes. character in a video game? Kazuichi Soda. Toad? Toad. What is it? Yo. <laughs> Drown. The drowns are funny because they make this hilarious noise. What is it? Yes, they do. Uh, gurgle like. <laughs> Wario. Mm. Toad from Mario Kart. Yeah. Alex from Minecraft. Kirby. Kirby is the bomb. Least favorite character in a video game. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Least favorite f character in a video game. Um, Kasumi. The angry dude that's like Bowser Jr.? Yeah, that guy. Kirby, because his <laughs> sister. No, listen to the story, it makes sense. Ghost and Batman. The ghosts. Yeah, oh, Steve. Oh, Steve? Steve? From Minecraft? Yeah. I'm getting a lot of mixed opinions about Steve. Wario? Like Favorite song in a video game? Dude, Undertale's the best! <laughs> yeah, the Mario theme. The Minecraft one? That's m- uh, What's the last video game that's coming to the Wii console? That already came out. No. No. I don't know this. Just Dance 2020. Oh, that's already. Thanks to Abby for that video, and as you guys could probably tell, Abby puts a ton of work into these videos. She's got the graphics, the text, the editing, the sound clips in the background. So if you see her around school, make sure to let her know how awesome her segments are, because they really are pretty amazing. All right, Michael and Austin, it's time for a call of duty to, for the sports desk. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Bighorn Sports. Hello, everybody. Nice. Thank you. Our main story today is basketball. Lone Peak High School teams plan on rolling out full varsity and junior varsity squads for both boys and girls this year, which might be the first ever of that. I think you're exactly right. Let's check in with head coach Hannes of the varsity boys and assistant coach Isley of the varsity girls about their upcoming seasons. All right, so I'm here with the head boys basketball coach, John Hannes. One of the assistant coaches on the LPHS women's basketball team. Um, are you excited for this upcoming season? I am really excited, Austin. Um, basketball was a big part of my life growing up, so I'm really excited to kind of share what I know with this young group of girls. We've um, had a lot of kids come to morning shooting, and they seem really enthusiastic for the season, so I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yes, I'm incredibly excited. In fact, I think I got asked this question recently was, what are you most excited about for the season? And I honestly couldn't think about anything. I'm excited for every, every single thing that we have coming up. Uh, I get to share my love for this game with a group of really great kids. And so that is what I'm most excited for. What are your expectations for the upcoming season? Uh, well, my expectations are for myself are to try to really stay um, positive and organized and um, just help the girls improve and get better and become more confident and 
Um, I would love to see them trust their own instincts and uh, just get better at playing the game of basketball. Yeah, I think the expectation for me is to give my my seniors that I've spent so long with uh, a season that they can look back fondly on and, rem and remember, and uh, to keep c continue our program moving in the right direction. All right, and with a new coaching staff coming in, how do you plan to be a part of uh, building on the tradition of the past? Yeah, so we know the girls um, have a district championship in the past, and so that's a really good um, accomplishment to build on. Uh, we really want to build a culture of team where the girls support each other and they support the boys team, and um, they just show a lot of dedication. Um, so they played a lot this summer um, in a summer league, and. We want to kind of build on their enthusiasm and their dedication thus far to kind of take us forward into the season. Cool. All right, so last question. Being the fourth head coach in the past uh, four years, how do you plan to uh, build on the culture going forward? That's a good question. So I think that just by creating a an environment of a commitment to excellence from coaching and players, to make that program as attractive to everybody to be involved as we can will go a long way. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you, Austin, I appreciate it. Basketball practice starts today, which is really yesterday because you're watching this on Friday, but stay tuned for more, informa uh, more information about our Bighorn basketball teams. And before we leave, let's get the answers for this week's Thanksgiving trivia. Are you smarter than Google? Number one, I uh, remember this was which state raises the most Thanksgiving turkeys? And it's actually Minnesota, with over 40 million turkeys raised annually. Uh, number two, who was the first president, uh, president to presidentially pardon a turkey? And it was Ronald Reagan in 1987. And finally, number three, with what characters does the Macy's Thanksgiving uh, Day Parade conclude? And I actually knew this one, but it is Santa Claus, which officially begins the uh, winter holiday season. Riley, back to you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. That just uh, that just about wraps up our show for today. Have a great week off. We'll see you all. Uh, we'll see all of you in December. One more month in the decade, people. That's crazy. For Riley Jermaine, this is Michael Romney. See you next time, guys.